The Active Directory Cleanup tool lets you find inactive users and computers in your Active Directory environment. Uh, so this is part of the AD Pro Toolkit. Uh, you come under Security Tools, click on AD Cleanup, and then you can just click Run, uh, or you can uh, specify some details here. So by default, it's going to find accounts that have been inactive for at least 90 days. Just click this button if you want to change the time frame. Uh, by default, it's going to run on the entire domain. If you want to change that to an OU or a group, just click Browse and browse to the OU or group and click OK. Um, and then, so if I click Run, you can see it's going to list all my accounts that have been inactive. Uh, and you can view that by the, the last logon timestamp. And then you can automate this process too. So I'll show that in a minute, but under the scheduler, you can schedule the automatic cleanup of finding accounts and deleting them. Um, but from here, you can select accounts, select them all. Uh, you can export this list. You can delete them, disable them. Uh, you can move them. So a lot of times people will move inactive accounts to an um, inactive OU or a disabled OU. Uh, but you could disable them and also delete them. Um, so there's some other options here. So that was users. You could you could check multiple ones at the same time, but I'll go through them individually. Uh, this is disabled or inactive computers. See, I've only got two computers that have been inactive for at least 90 days. You can find all disabled users, uh, users with no logons. So if I click run on this one, these are uh, accounts that have never logged on or the last logon timestamp has never been updated. So it's going to display never logged on. I can find all expired users. Uh, these are accounts that someone has went into the account and set an expiration date on them. Uh, so these accounts are currently not active. Uh, and I can do the same thing for computers. And there's also a empty groups report. So this will show me all the reports or all the groups that had no members. Uh, a lot of them will be default groups, but you can see I've got all these groups that I've created and they have no members. So they're essentially groups that are not in use. So you may want to review any groups that have no members and uh, possibly remove them. Um, so that's the cleanup tool. Again, you can come into scheduler and you can automate this process. So if I want to automate finding inactive accounts and then doing some action on them, I would create, I would click add and add a, a task. Um, I'll go ahead and edit this one I have, but literally you would just follow these, this wizard here, give it a name, set the frequency of how, you, how often you want it to run. You can do hourly, daily, and weekly. Um, and then on the conditions and actions page, you would set the conditions of, you, know, you want to find accounts that have been inactive for at least you know, whatever day, time frame you want to put in. You can search for users and computers. You can specify the paths. So if you want to find just inactive users in a specific OU, you can do that here, or you can set the entire domain. And then you specify the action. So once it's, once it's found inactive accounts, you just pick and choose which ones you want. So disable, move it to an OU, description, or read only, which is just a report mode. And then you can specify the output, which is going to email you report uh, based off what you have set here. Uh, you can also automatically delete accounts. So this is what the conditions look like. So you can say, okay, the accounts have been disabled for X amount of days. Once it finds those accounts, I can del delete them. Again, there's a report only mode. And then you can also find disabled accounts. So find disabled accounts that have been disabled for, you know, whatever amount of days, and then you can specify all these actions. Move to a no use, set a description, remove users from a group, clear manager, hide from the gal, and delete them. Uh, you can also do some cleanup on some group policies. You can find empty GPOs and unlinked GPOs. So unlinked GPOs uh, are, are group policy objects that are out there, but they're not linked to anything. They're not linked to an OU, they're not linked to the, the domain. So you can see here, I've got several GPOs that are not in use because they're not linked to anything. Location is blank. Uh, you can see the name of it. You can see it when it was created and when it was changed. And then there is an empty GPOs. So these are these are ones where they have no policy settings. It's basically somebody had just created a GPO but then didn't configure it. Or maybe they thought they configure it. But 
These might be linked to somewhere, but again, because they have no policies configured, they're not doing anything. So uh, both the empty and unlinked GPOs, uh, you probably want to review those and determine if they should be deleted or not. So that is the cleanup tool. Um, Again, this makes it really easy to find those inactive accounts in your environment that you should review on a, uh, I would recommend, you know, every 30 days, once a month, you run this process to review inactive accounts. And then I typically would disable them for X amount of days. And then after another set time frame, uh, they've been disabled for so long and there's no issues, you could delete them. But that is totally up to your uh, organization's policies. So yeah, really easy. I mean, you can literally just click buttons here to find in dev accounts and you can automate this process with the built-in scheduler. And then there is some group policy reports that you can run to help clean up group policies. Um, that is it. Thanks for watching.